So the meal today is crock pot chicken pot pie. Um, I'm going to make it in a crock pot and this one, this recipe was sent uh, to me from my husband, of course, because every time he likes something, he sends it to me to try out. So I'll try this one out and it has like, um, or I can cook, or, oh my God, cook. We can make flaky biscuits on the side. Here, let me take my glasses off because it's so shiny. Uh, flaky biscuits that like peel apart um, so you can make like little sandwiches with them so that's probably what we'll be doing tonight uh, for dinner so right now we're going to start prepping all of our ingredients to make this chicken pot pie in the crock pot I already have the crock pot sitting out so let me get everything prepped for you and then we can mix it all together and see what happens after four to six hours. <laughs> So in the video, I don't know why I kept saying spices, I meant seasonings. So every time I say spices, it's the four seasonings. So I'll probably correct it with like a little caption as well. So I'm not crying, you're crying. Is there a way to peel this properly? I guess there is. And so I'm wearing these little gloves but I feel that they're not doing anything. I don't know, maybe could, I was thinking that with the, with the, um, with me, my, like my skin not actually touching it, it would do less or be less painful in my eyes. Is, is that possible? I don't want to peel this over the, plate because I don't want to get it all over like the skin and all the nasty stuff all over oh my god oh. this is not working all right let me just try and take off a whole layer I didn't I did wipe down my my cutting board I don't like to cut actually on this I don't know I have like weird things. I don't know. I don't, I just don't like cutting on it, even though that's what it's for. My husband uses it, but I don't. Okay. Now that I'm all teary-eyed. Onions are chopped. The onion is chopped. If anyone can give me tips on how to not have my eyes water, please let me know. I've heard of, you know, getting your hands wet first, putting like a wet moisturized like napkin or paper towel next to the onion so that the chemicals will like absorb into that because they search for water. I've tried both of them. It doesn't work. My husband, my, my kitchen is so small and tiny that we cannot fit any more gadgets in here. And I know that I'm sure an onion slicer would be great. But if anyone has anything other than that, please let me know. <laughs> all right, so next we are going to measure out all of the uh, spices. So it'll be paprika, par parsley flakes, onion powder, and the garlic powder. So each spice is a teaspoon. I'm going to put them all in one because I hate how like people, you know, put it like, oh, one for each. It's just a lot of dishes and then they combine them anyway. So, but these little dishes that you always see on cooking shows, I got these at the Dollar Tree. I think it was like three or four in a pack. So I got these when they were, when it was actually the Dollar Tree, not $1.25, but I stocked up on a lot of them. 
still great though. And a lot of times I kind of get it over and in. See, I do it in the bowl. And if it goes in, it's okay. Because this isn't baking where it has to be like precise and accurate. I just figured more flavor is getting added into it. You know, with this one, Bob. Okay, so I have two chicken breasts here. I've already uh, taken the fat off, trimmed the fat, and now I am cutting them in half or butterflying them. I guess it's called butterfly, but, or just cut them in half. I'm cutting them in half because I think butterfly is when you keep it together for like stuffing, but stuffing them. But uh, yeah, so I'm cutting them in half. It doesn't have to be perfect because later on I'm going to take them out and cut them or shred them anyway to put back in. Okay, so we have that. So now we have our onion cut, our spices, um, our chicken breast. Now all I have to do is grab a bag of mixed veggies. Put it right here. So I have my bag of mixed vegetables. And now we're just gonna add all that into the crock pot, as well as add some a little bit of salt and pepper. I, I don't like to put that in. I like to put it over, sprinkle it over, mix everything, you know, add it in. Instead of just putting it into like one of these little dishes. Okay. Okay, so now we are going to put everything in the crock pot. I don't know why, I think it kind of seems like my crock pot is either dirty or dusty and it's not. I literally used this last night and we did wash it because I am crazy about cleanliness. So put the chicken in and then we're gonna add all our ingredients except for the sour cream. Um, so then we do that, let me add a, I'm going to more in a can of cream of chicken first. Because we will be mixing everything. Sometimes when I'm cooking meat, I'll put a little bit of it, like, underneath. I feel like having something wet on the bottom will help it not burn. I don't know if that's a thing. <laughs> well, that's right, we'll be mixing it. So I'll do one can of the cream of chicken. So I this is left for you. Okay, now I'll add the onion. I know people don't like the, the sound of like utensils hitting a plate. Maybe it's an ASMR. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay, let me add the vegetables in. And mixed vegetables. Everybody really doesn't want to open it. Hard time with that. I'm also going to throw in my spices on top of this. So again, this is the paprika, parsley flakes, onion powder, and garlic powder. And I'll even do some salt and pepper with this. It's supposed to be half a teaspoon of salt and pepper, so. For some reason, everything I cook, even though I make it, you know, exactly the way recipes are, my husband will, no matter what, even before trying it, he'll add even more salt and pepper onto his stuff. And I'm like, you, you didn't try it. He says, that's just what I do. So. That's just him. I don't know if anyone else does that. I always thought it was kind of weird. So with this chicken pot pie, it says two to three cans. Two to three cans of cream of uh, chicken soup. I guess I'll mix it around. And see what it looks like if I have to add a third can. Maybe I can add a third can, third can later on. If it doesn't seem to... Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to add the third can. I 
Because I'm not anyone else here that's trying to get every single solitary module <laughs> of a, like anything out of can. Like you want to make sure you scrape it off. Anyone else like that or does no one really care? I try to, you know, spend a lot for this stuff. So I would like to make sure I get every cent worth. That's just the money part thinking in my head. Since we're very limited on our budgets, I find anything nowadays. And inflation with food is ridiculous. Like, people can't survive for long with these prices. Okay. Looks a little better. Should be used a bigger spoon though because my hand is hurting. Let me add a little bit more salt and pepper. Sorry if you hear noises in the background. It's my dog or my one son playing. My dog wants to go outside in the one degree weather. So I try to do this off right now. Alright, so it looks like everything is pretty much mixed in. Alright, we're going to put this on. I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do the tapping with the camera. It's really swelled. So let's just try to... Okay, that's it. Alright, so we'll put this on low for four to six hours. And then towards the end of it, I'm going to shred everything. When the chicken gets nice and tender, shred it all, throw it back in. And then we are about 30 minutes before it's done, I'm going to add sour cream. So that'll be a half a cup of sour cream into it. And then it should be done. So we'll check it out later. So it's been just over four hours. Okay, I am going to pull out the chicken. So I just finished shredding my chicken. I pretty much just used the fork and kind of peeled it apart, which is nice. I'm going to add this back in now. There we go. And yes, I will use my fork to get all these little bits off of myself later. <laughs> Alright, so let's mix that in together. There we go. Also, I'm going to add in the half a cup of sour cream. Oop, grab the wrong one. Grab the unopened one. Okay. Oh, I guess I have two on open. Okay, let me make sure. Oh, let me check the dates. Eh, all works out. They're all the same. Okay. So I'm going to just... Yes. I'm going to just do this. That's close enough. Mix that together inside. Looks so good. I can't wait to eat it. Oh, let me scrap. Oh, let me. Uh oh. I'm looking at the bottoms on the sides. I noticed some brown marks. Let me scrape at it. So this is the chicken pot pie and I have my Pillsbury bun here. So I like to separate it since I got the flaky one. See it goes in layers. And put some of the chicken pot pie inside. Now let's see if this tastes good. Mmm. Tastes good. Messy but good. This is 
messy but good. This is staying. I will definitely make this again. Thumbs up.